In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create click and reveal animation in PowerPoint. As you can see here in this example, I have created three pricing options, the basic, advanced and business. How this works is when I bring my cursor here, you can see the cursor position pointer is changing to a hand. When I click, it will give you the details of the advanced option. And when I click business, this will go off and advanced business only will show. And when I click basic, and basic will show that means whenever I click that only will show the other will hide you can see here this way so at anywhere I can just click and reveal the details please share like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on YouTube for PowerPoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and I have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and change the slide background to any light gray color background. Then go to view, enable the guides, go to insert shapes. From the block arrows, I'm going to choose the arrow pentagon, draw the arrow pentagon, something like this and go to rotate, rotate right 90 degrees and make sure to align center and move it up a little bit. And I'm going to increase the width of this one and you can see here uh, the small orange point just drag this down so it less it makes less sharp okay it looks something like this again make sure to align center shape outline make it no outline then right mouse click go to the format shape I'm going to select the gradient fill by default it is coming here because this is the one I have used again depending on the requirement you can change it so i'm going to add two stops here the first stop i can just give any color of my choice you can see here i can just give a kind of a dark purple and here i can just give a blue color combination it looks something like this okay purple with blue so depending on the requirement you can just change uh, the colors so i'm just giving for, as for the training purpose so then go to the insert shape select the rounded corner rectangle draw a rounded corner rectangle from the center and you can see the small orange point just drag this one shape outline make it no outline shape fill i'm going to fill this with white and then send this to back and you can give some shadow effect for that go to the effects shadow and you can just choose the offset bottom and for this also you can give the shadow offset bottom you can increase the distance you can see here and then you can increase more blur effect here all right once this is done you can add one more rounded corner rectangle and put it here at the bottom shape outline make it no outline and select the gradient fill the same fill the gradient i'm going to put it and put it here and you can make it more curved at the corners all right so once this is done what you can do is you can add one oval shape at the top to give the pricing options again if you want to increase the size hold the control shift key and increase the size a little bit shape outline make it no outline shape fill i'm going to fill this with white and give the shadow effect which is offset bottom all right again if you want to increase the distance you can increase the distance like this so once this is done let me just add few text here first of all go to insert text box i'm going to say say this is dollar 99 center align make it bold you can increase the size and you can give the same gradient fill for the text also so go to the text options under the text effects sorry go to here under text fill and select the gradient fill okay so you can see here I got this one again if you want you can increase the size of this and make sure it is aligned center and then go to insert text box here i can just say apply center align white font all right and then go to insert text box here you can say advanced center align white font make it bold increase the size and put it here if you want to add some details you can add some details also here and few more text at the bottom here i'm going to add the title here 
all right so you can just change the title center align i'm going to give some gray color and you can make it bold as well and then you can give some options here okay the features so here i'm just going to say feature one here you can see here again same color if you want you can reduce the size hold the control shift key or before that one let me just add one more text box here and this text box i'm going to change the font to webdings okay webdings and center align and when i say a it becomes tick mark a okay if it is r it is a cross mark so a tick mark and i'm going to give this as a green color all right and i'm going to put it here so that means this feature is available for the advanced so hold the control shift key drag this one two three four and five five features so i can just change this to two this is three four and five so you can see here all the five features are available that's what it means so now i'm going to select this one the bottom one only okay and press ctrl g to group it why i'm doing that one this is to do the animation better for us okay shape outline sorry shape format send to back and here also i'm going to select this shape and press ctrl g so you can see here i've made two groups one group here another group here okay so now i'm going to add two more options here hold the ctrl shift key first of all select all the uh, objects and hold ctrl shift key and drag it towards the right and hold the ctrl shift key and drag it towards the left and right okay so this one instead of basic advanced i'm going to make it as a uh, basic and this is i'm going to make it as business and this could be say 39 dollars and this could be say 89 dollars and here this one i'm going to make it x sorry r you can see here and this one is red color that means this feature is not available in the basic and here also i'm going to make it r and red color okay so you can see here in the basic uh, uh, these two features are not available but advanced and business these features are available now depending on the requirement if you want to change some different color combination you can just go here more colors i can just give a maybe a kind of orange you can see here with a purple color or with blue color or with dark this color whichever color you want you can see here the same thing you can apply it here also and here also you can just give any color of your choice so there's no restrictions there to choose any color and here i can just maybe i can just make it green color so different different color combinations you can choose all right so once this is done what you can do is is to do the animations so before doing the animation or adding the animations it's very important for us to name the groups properly okay so this is the basic group this is the basic detail like that okay so i'm going to select first the basic uh, group here the basic uh, option and then go to the home under the select go to the selection pane and here you can see here this is a uh, group 97 so i'm going to make this as a basic okay basic header i'll just say or basic option and these are the basic details okay so this is basic details this is advanced options so this is advanced options and these are the advanced details and then this is the business options it's here at the top and this is the business details all right so we are given the right name for this so let me just close this one now go to the animations enable the animation pane and here you have to uh, stay very much focused so first of all i'm going to add the animation which is for this three you can see here i'm going to select these three options with the help of the shift key add animations 
go to the more entrance effects stretch click ok and stretch it should happen from top something like this all right now how i want the animation to be is when i click on the basic then this should come when i click on advanced this should come and i click on the business this should come okay so currently what is happening when i click all are coming right there is no uh, animation uh, on click here so for that we call it as a trigger animation okay so remember that when i click on basic this should come and we remember you have given we have given the name as the basic option advanced option and business option and these are the details okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to select the basic details double click this one go to the timings triggers start effect on click off i will say basic options click ok that means i am telling that when i'm bringing the cursor here you can see here when i click only this will come all right the same thing i'm going to do for the second one which is the advanced option double click this one timings triggers start effect on click off advanced options okay click okay and then the third one and you can see here the triggers are created double click this one go to the timings triggers click on and here i'm going to say business options and click ok so now when i click advanced advanced will come when i click basic will come when i click business business will come and you can add one more feature where when i click basic these two should go off when i click advanced this should this two go off like that okay for example when i click advanced it's coming but when i click basic this advanced should go off okay so that kind of animation we'll see now for that what we need to do is again we need to select these three options all right make sure that you should not click here you have to always click add animation okay add animation now this time i'm going to make it on more exit effects right and here i'm going to use the collapse options click ok and collapse it should go from to top like this and this should happen with previous so now it's very very important for you to where to drag these options all right so for example if basic details and one more thing we have to add this three times okay this only one time we have added now i'll copy this one here i mean i will drag and drop here again i have to add these three options three exit options animations and again three more okay why let me just show you first of all if you see here the basic when i'm basic this advance and detail should go off okay so for example if i just show you you can see here when i click this is going off can you see here when i click this is going off okay and for basic for example i can just say here go to the advanced and this has to be disappear but this is incomplete as i said we have to do it two more times okay again add animation more exit effects collapse click ok collapse should happen to top and this one should be with previous all right so now you can see here already for advanced we have added basic now for advanced i'm going to add business remember this one here basic details is appear and then this two should be disappear that's that's way we have to do it okay so now for the advanced both at basic and advanced should disappear all right so you can see here we have added basic advanced basic advanced all right so let me just show you now all right so now one more time we need to add the exit animation add animation more entrance of sorry more exit effects here i'm going to select the disappear click ok and this should be with previous all right so this one should not be a part of trigger all right so now you can see here nothing is there so when i click advance advance is coming when i click basic advance will disappear when i click business basic will disappear you can see here at a time only one option will be available here so that's what it means here for example when i basic is there this two should disappear when advance is there basic and business should disappear when business comes basic and advance should disappear so that's how the animation will work properly okay